Juliet, thanks for joining me. Um, I wonder if you could tell us just a little bit about what you do when you're not studying at Birkbeck. Uh, I'm a sculptor. I make uh, things out of metal. I make objects out of metal. Okay. So very great. different from the kind of thing that I do when I'm here. Yeah, so did you study philosophy before you came to Birkbeck? No, not at all. Uh, I studied literature originally, um, and then later, quite a lot later, um, went to art college and studied sculpture. So what made you think you wanted to do a degree in philosophy? There were things that I found in my sculpture practice that really intrigued me, um, and that I wanted a framework to dig deeper into. And right now you're a master's student. Yeah, I'm on the conversion master's in my second year. So on the conversion, do you feel like having not had a background in philosophy, that that gave you enough setup to, to be a master's student? Or do you feel like maybe you should have gone back and done a bachelor's degree? No, I think it was really good coming straight into the master's. It's a little bit of a baptism of fire, um, but I think that that's always going to be the case with a new subject. I think that the study that I had done before gave me enough material in sort of knowing how to read, knowing how to write. And whilst there were new skills that I needed to, de to develop that were that, that was specifically needed for the reading and writing of philosophy, I think that's built into the course. And certainly by the time I hit second year, I was much, much, much more confident. And yeah, no, I'm glad I went straight in at master's level. Yeah. And so the second year, you're, you're a part-time student. Yeah, I am. Yeah. 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 Uh, and I think that that's really helpful because whilst obviously there's kind of pressure with a job, you also have a lot more space for the material to land and to process the material. And I think that's really, really helpful. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, so is there anything just very generally that you might say to somebody who's feeling a little bit on the fence? They're maybe not studied philosophy before, but they're interested. Maybe they've read a little bit or watched a few YouTube videos or, and they're thinking, is this for me? Is this, is this going to be too hard? It's an MA too high level. What, what might you say to them? So it's hard but that's kind of where the fun bit is. Um, and I think it's really important to realize that you don't have to get your head around absolutely everything and you won't be able to get your head around everything. Now, the fun bit in that is it means you can run with the bits that you really enjoy. Um, and you know, I think any NA is the beginning of a process. It's not the end of a process. 